Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be looking at Soccer Toa. This is video one of a multi-video series. So this is relating to trig functions of sine, cosine, and tangent for right angle triangles. So Soccer Toa relates to right angle triangles. So first of all, let's see what we mean by right angle triangle. A right angle triangle is a triangle that has one 90 degree angle within its one, two, three angles. So here we see this is a 90 degree bend for this particular vertical and horizontal lines or sides. And we can represent that with a little square saying it is a 90 degree. So we can now investigate this triangle in terms of soccer toe or trig rules. So first of all, let's look at how we label our triangle correctly. So for this example, we're going to use the bottom right hand corner angle here as the angle of interest. And we'll represent this angle with the value theta. Step number two, we want to identify the opposite side length. Now that might seem common sense to most people, but some students do get tricked on this. So let's go through a foolproof method. So to do this, let's identify the two side lengths of the triangle that make up the angle. So this one on the bottom in red and the diagonal, they're the two lengths that make this angle theta. Well, this third and final remaining length is the opposite side length, okay? It literally is a side length that is opposite the angle theta. Number three, let's identify the hypotenuse side length. Now this is probably the easiest of all side lengths to identify because we are looking for the longest diagonal section. So this is always going to be the longest side of a triangle that's a right angle triangle. Okay, so here's our hypotenuse. And finally, identifying the adjacent side length. If we follow these procedures whereby we have the angle, we look for the opposite, we find the hypotenuse. The last and final remaining length is that of the adjacent side length. Okay, it's the final and remaining. So it's colored in here purple. Now the term adjacent simply means next to. So here we can see that is one of the two lines that make up the angle theta. The longest one is a hypotenuse and this adjacent line is next to the angle theta. So here's our correctly labeled right angle triangle. Let's uh, give you a go at labeling these three triangles in terms of hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent side lengths. Perhaps pause this video and come back in a second when you've done it. Okay, let's look at our results. Our first one, the bottom left hand corner here, let's consider the opposite side length, the hypotenuse, the longest side length, and the adjacent, the one that's next to the angle theta. Our second example, again, the opposite, here's our two lengths that make the angle theta, and the third one is the opposite. The hypotenuse is the larger side length, and the adjacent is the final one that is next to the angle theta. Finally, again, we look at our final one. Here we have one, two lengths that make up the angle theta, which means this one, you have it, must be the opposite. The longest side length, the diagonal one, is the hypotenuse, which leaves us with our third and final being the adjacent. Well done. Okay, let's see if we can make some sense out of these Sokotoa statements. So there are three main functions in trigonometry that relate to a right angle triangle. Let's investigate these. The first is that of sine. There's a function in trigonometry called sine. There's another function called cosine. And a third and final one called tangent. Now, these are traditionally in textbooks and from year seven, eight, and nine learnings referred to as the sine function, the cos function, and the tan function. Even though this short abbreviated term says the word sin, it actually is still called sine. So we've got sine, cos, and tan. That's for the S, C, and T. Let's see if we can make some sense out of the rest of this soccer toa statement. So first of all, these values sine, cos, and tan come about by dividing one side length of the right angle triangle by another side length. So let's have a look. Sine, the sine of an angle, theta, is equal to the opposite length divided by the hypotenuse side length of a right angle triangle. So in this case, it would be the opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse side length. And so we first section of soccer toa is the so. S-O-H, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. It's just a nice way to remember it. The next function is cos. Cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is remembered as C-A-H, car. Finally, tan. Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Hence the TOA, tan is opposite over adjacent. Here's our summary of the soccer TOA. We'll color code it for you. Let's see if we can make some sense of this. We want to look at this particular right angle triangle and calculate the three 
trigonometry ratios for sine, cos, and tan. So first of all, let's look at the sine of this angle theta. What would that be equal to with the 3, 4, 5 triangle? So sine up the top here is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite has a value of 3, the hypotenuse of 5. We substitute those values in, 3 over 5. So the sine of this angle theta is equal to 0.6. It's 3 divided by 5, which is 0.6. Next, we look at the cos of this angle theta. So cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, or from the Sokar Toa. It's the car, C-A-H. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent measurement here is 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. We sub those values in, 4 over 5. Cos of the angle theta comes out to 0.8. And finally, tan. You can see here in our red highlighted section that tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Or the toa, tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite has a value of 3, adjacent has a value of 4. We sub those values in. And tan of theta comes out to 3 quarters, or 0.75. So there's our findings for sine, cos, and tan simply by looking at the side lengths of the opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent lengths of this triangle. Once again, thank you for viewing. I really hope this helped you understand the basics of just a right angle triangle in terms of labeling and understanding the functions of sine, cos, and tan. Please watch the videos that follow this one to have further understanding of how to calculate side length and angles using all three of these trig rules. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.